Hi, today we're going to be talking about the role of the kidney in the excretory system of fish and mammals. Basically, what the kidney does is, in both fish and mammals, it regulates a lot of things. So it regulates the salt and water concentration in the body, and it excretes waste. So it's basically uh, a part of the excretory system in both fish and mammals. So if we have a look, that, that both of these are linked together, right? So they both pretty much aim to do the same thing where it's just their main aim is to excrete waste and to regulate the water and salt concentrations in the body So, the, our connection is that both fish and mammals have a kidney which is used as an excretory system, uh, well, which is a part of the excretory system, and the main two things that it's used for is to excrete waste and to regulate the water and salt concentrations in the body. Okay, so moving on, we're going to start off with the freshwater fish. So this fish is a freshwater fish, and I'm going to tell you some characteristics that you can figure out and uh, look at to figure out that it's actually a freshwater s fish. So, um, starting off, water is actually absorbed through the skin. Now, um, because of this water absorption through the skin, um, I'm assuming it's because of diffusion, and because of this, these guys have dilute urine. As you can see, they have dilute urine, and blue is the direction of water movement, red is the direction of iron movement, such as salts, such as Na, K, Cl, so potassium and chloride. Um, so, anyways, as I was saying, because they have water absorption through the skin, right, um, through uh, through diffusion, right? Uh, dilute urine is produced. So that means there's a lot of water in the urine. It's not concentrated. Adding on, these guys they don't actually drink water. They they do, but it's it's usually while they're having the food. So food is the main thing they intake, and water is just like a little bit extra that they take by accident, I suppose. Um, just a, a little bit more. Um, the active ion uptake through gills means that they've been taking in salts for their cells. Now, since salts aren't readily available, they try to conserve these salts, and you can see that because they have dilute urine. They don't actually uh, get rid of all their salts. And since salts are getting um, out of their body through this, uh, you know, this diffusion or osmosis, you could almost say, because if they have salts in here and it's a fresh water over here, so suppose this is all fresh water, you know this is all fresh water, then what's going to happen is that the salt from here is going to go out. The main reason being is because the concentration of this fresh water is, uh, of salts is much less than the concentration in here, well, of the water, I guess. So the water from here is going to end up, uh, the, the one with a lot of salt at least, is going to move from this concentration gradient, the low, I mean, to the high to the low. So that is why water actually goes out of the fish. And the main reason is... Uh, water which is, has excess salt. And the main reason is that um, the the environment that you actually live in is not as salty and that is obviously going to be a, a part of osmosis where it uh, goes through the concentration gradient. Now um, because of this, because they lose all these salts that they vitally need for their cells, they have something, uh, the, well the kidney produces dilute urine which is um, urine with a lot of water in it. Now what this actually does is that it helps conserve um, salt inside the freshwater fish's body. Now because of this, dilute urine, which is number one, and the other thing is they take salts through the gills, and that is what they produce. So the kidney's function in freshwater fish is to keep the salts inside, and how it does this is through dilute urine. Okay, now moving on. We've now got the saltwater fish. So um, this is the saltwater fish. and I'm just going to explain a few things. So once again, red is the direction of ion movement, such as salts, such as Na, K, and Cl, so, salt, so um, sodium, potassium, and chloride, and the direction of water movement is the blue arrows. So as you can see, this one actually drinks seawater. Now, with the seawater, it drinks around equal amounts, uh, just say it drinks seawater, because it has ion movement and it has water, so water has the ions inside it anyway, so it drinks this, and then once again, you can see that 
this is the water, and let's just assume that that concentration of water is going to be um, pretty high. So it's got it's got less salt in it, right? So since it has less salt, this environment, which is very salty, this is a salty environment. The um, for, because of osmosis, the water diffuses out of the skin, and that's because this has low concentrations of salt inside the, inside the water, and whereas salt actually goes into the skin because that's just uh, the second thing of osmosis. So anyways, um, continuing on, these guys actually get rid of ion transport through the gills as well as some water. So you can see that these guys don't need the salt because it's readily available as I said for the other one. So it's it's similar as the other one but just the opposite and you can just tell instantly because of these characteristics that since it's getting rid of salt and um, it has active ion transport through the gills, it doesn't actually need salts. And adding on, it has a concentrated urine, which means that it's it's just another thing showing that it needs to get rid of these salts that it's taking in all the time. And it has a since since it has concentrated uh, salty urine, right? Water is kept inside because these guys don't have fresh water available to them at all times. These guys only have salt water, which is their environment that they live in. And because of this, they have to keep in this salt and uh, this um this water, which has less lower amounts of salt. And they they do this by producing concentrated salty urine, which is the which the kidney is a part of. Now, um, I, out of all this, you could, should have just taken uh, apart one thing, which is mainly uh, osmoregulation. You should have taken that osmoregulation is the constant maintenance of solute concentrations in the body. So um, all that's saying is that for fish to for them to reach osmoregulation, to, to o osmoregulate, what they do is that they re release concentrated salty urine for the saltwater fish because they don't need it, and for the freshwater fish they release dilute urine because they don't need it. So that's by uh, th by doing this uh, this process, they're actually osmoregulating, which means that they're they're creating a constant maintenance of solute concentrations in the body. So w salt and water concentrations inside the body are being constant, and this ultimately allows for it to function optimally. So that's basically all you need to really take from this and just remember a bit about these fishies and I hope that helped.